Another unboxing today, and this one I'm kind of excited about, I have to admit, because it comes from the Hidden Woodsman. And uh, I got my my name and address covered up there, but it looks like the post office didn't treat the box all that well. But let's see if what's inside is fine, hopefully. Okay, I got the box opened up. Let's see uh, what we got inside of here. I'm going to start to see it there a little bit. Okay, here it is. It is the Hidden Woodsman Haversack. And it is in multicam black. Which looks super nice in person. I really like that. It says it's made in the USA. I believe the owner of this company, his name is Malcolm. I don't know him personally, but I've heard nothing but good about the products that he makes. All made by hand of the of super thick uh, Cordura, I believe it is. And uh, just at first glance, it looks fine. It looks real good. Looks like pretty heavy duty buckles here. Has a flap that you open up. And this is the strap for wearing it like over your shoulder. And it has a buckle on it there. And then it has Velcro so you can unwrap this as long as you want. Or keep it as short as you want. Whatever works for you. Looks like it's kind of like a, I guess that's gray. Kind of looks like a reflective gray maybe almost like it has a hint of green to it but I'm not sure if that's the case or not maybe I'm just colorblind but here let me use both hands to get these flaps apart because this velcro is pretty tough okay got that opened up and let's see it's got the velcro on the front so you can put a patch on the front whether it be any patch you want. It could be your own personal patch. It could be a hidden woodsman patch. But let's see down in there. Oh, that's pretty cool. It's like it's like a hunter orange, like really reflective down in there. It's pretty sharp. Okay, this orange reflective material here, it's like a pocket. And it goes almost completely to the bottom, maybe just shy by like an inch. Has a card in it. says thank you for your order blah 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 the hidden woodsman.com appreciate your support Malcolm yeah I've watched a bunch of uh, Malcolm's videos and uh, seems like a pretty pretty decent dude and everybody seems to have nothing but good to say about the guy and from what I can see of this bag it definitely seems like really good work yeah, this is reflective. They say it's reflective like this inside so that if you're outside at like a, like in the evening or something like that and you reach in to get something out of your haversack, it helps reflect the light in the bag so you can see your gear a little better, which is a pretty clever idea, I have to say. Then he reinforced the entire top with this uh, like band of material. And that helps the bag, like, hold its shape and stay open. If, it'll, if this camera will stay in focus. But, uh, let me see. Then there's this front pocket here. And it goes pretty much down to the bottom. It's a nice little pocket for storing stuff there. Then you have a front zippered pocket. Let me get that unzipped. Okay, I got that unzipped. It's got a big heavy-duty zipper on it. And that's a nice size pocket. Like you can get a decent distance down in there, and it's fairly wide. Uh, looks like it's Molly compatible. It's got the Molly attachment straps on the side. And yeah, this side has it also. Try to spread this out a little bit so you can see that. Yeah, isn't that something else? And then. This here, uh, it looks like there's a lot of material there. It's wrapped up in Velcro, so 
I could be mistaken. I know that this this goes down like this and this locks onto it. And then this folds over and then this attaches. And it keeps it snug like a nice pack. But with that much extra material, let's see if that'll show up there. I mean, you could probably, I'm sure that's what it is. You lengthen this and it'll hold your bedroll or another pack or something like that down at the bottom of the bag. So that's pretty nice. So now you can attach perhaps a canteen over here and maybe your silky saw or something like that over here. And then you could have your bedroll. Then inside, you could have your fire starting set. Uh, let's see, what else? You could definitely hold maybe uh, the Hidden Woodsman uh, hammock. I bet you that would fit in here. And anything else that you might want to bring, maybe... Most people wear their knife on their side, although you could have a backup knife in here. And, oh yeah, you know what? There's an a, a hatchet slash axe holder on here. Look at that. Reinforced at the top. Stitched three times. I can feel the material folded over. And then it feels pretty tough down here at the bottom, too. And you can fit an axe or a hatchet in this and carry it. And then it also has a carrying strap. So you can just carry the whole bag like this if you just want to carry it like a bag and you don't want it over your shoulder. That's pretty sweet. So you could carry your hatchet like that or like this. And it holds right down in there. You could always bring your Wetterlings Scout Hatchet. Fits in there quite nice. Works like a charm. How about the uh, Council Tool Double Bit Axe? Let's see here, get this Velcro to let go. That holds quite nice. I don't know if anybody else ever tried this or thought of it, but I thought it might work out pretty good. Instead of using this... Uh, a uh, hatchet axe holder on the back for a hatchet or an axe. Maybe like this uh, Condor primitive bush knife, the Matt Graham knife. Because the way the leather sheath is, it has the little leather hook that would hook it right in. And now you got a way to carry that knife if you didn't want to wear it on, on your side or on your belt. Seems like it would hold just fine. It is the S4 Tactical Gear. It is made in the USA also. And it just happens to be made in Multicam Black, which is practically a perfect match for this haversack. Okay, I first heard about this S4 Tactical Gear little side pouch. On a YouTube channel, it was called The Prepared Wonderer. And he actually has this haversack. And he has, he bought this little side pouch because it's the exact same Cordura. It's got this nice little handle on it. And then it has a little paracord handle here at the bottom. And it was just such a perfect fit for this haversack that it's like, it, it's almost as if it was made for this haversack. So I definitely picked that up also. And it's got a heavy-duty zipper, and it's just a small pouch, but it would be perfect for carrying like a fire steel or any type of a fire kit and then zip it up. It could even be a first aid kit, perhaps, and it just goes right inside here. And I don't know, I just thought it, it, they were, it looked so good, it looked like it was just meant to be, so I had to end up getting it. But I just want to, even though I don't know... Him personally, Malcolm from The Hidden Woodsman, I think his work looks really great. And it feels really thick and really durable. I can't wait to get out in the woods and give this haversack a try because I think it's going to be quite nice. But this was just an in-house unboxing. This is Joe Doomsday 
Signing out. And some of the finishing touches on my haversack. Boom. Pretty sweet. Pretty happy with that. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is Joe Doomsday signing out.